In today's video, we will discuss the biography and important works of Henry James. The lifespan of Henry James is from 1843 to 1916. Henry James comes from a wealthy and cultured American family. He was born in New York and was educated in America and Europe before going to Harvard to read law in 1862. He was a friend of the New England group of writers. The New England group of writers included James Russell Lowell, H. W. Longfellow, William Dean Howells. James began his career as a contributor to Howells Atlantic Monthly and other American magazines. By 1875, James had adopted London as his home. He lived there until 1897 and later he moved to Rye, where he spent the rest of his life. So now we will discuss some of the important works of Henry James. James was a prolific writer. He wrote novels, short stories, travel sketches, literary criticism and an autobiography. His chief novels fall broadly into three groups. Beginning with Roderick Hudson, published in 1875, we have four novels. All of them are simpler and more straightforward in technique than his mature work and these deal with the contrast between the young American civilization and the older European culture. The other three of his group are The American, published in 1877, The Europeans, published in 1878, The Portrait of a Lady, published in 1881. And the three novels mainly devoted to the study of the English character are The, Tra the Tragic Muse, published in 1890, The Spoils of Poynton, published in 1897, The Awkward Age, published in 1899. The Spoils of Poynton is a relatively short novel and it shows most clearly the development of his methods. The high water mark of his career was reached in the three novels, The Wings of the Dove, published in 1902, The Ambassadors, published in 1903, The Golden Bowl, published in 1904. In his novel, he achieves a subtlety of character study, a delicacy of perception and an elaboration of artistic presentation which rank them high among modern novels. Washington Square, the Bostonians are amongst his excellent studies of American life. What Maisie knew is a beautifully told and deeply moving study of a child's mind. The two works which he left unfinished at his death are the Sense of the Past and Ivory Tower. Both these novels were published posthumously in 1917. In the next section, we will discuss Henry James as a short story writer. To his credit, he has almost a hundred tales which began with his earliest contributions to American magazines and continued well into the middle of the writing life. The Turn of the Screw is among his best known stories and his interest in the occult is seen to be strong in the stories like The Altar of the Dead, The Beast in the Jungle, The Birthplace and other tales. His autobiographical writings were A Small Boy and Others, published in 1913, Notes of a Son and a Brother, published in 1914. So, now we will discuss some features of his novels. First, his theory of the novel. To him, novel was primarily an art form to be judged solely by artistic canons concerned not with moral purpose but with the objective and impartial presentation of the reality of life. In this picture, there was no place for extravagance of romance or the distortions of sentimentality. Second, his technique. As he matured his study of the subtleties of motive and the delicacies of emotional reaction, grew more and more minute and his attention to detail became more exacting. Lastly, his characters. James is primarily interested in a character developing as part of a social group. He has no interest in the poor or in the unintelligent. His figures are usually intellectuals like himself, sensitive, refined, sophisticated, controlling impulse by reason, and endowed with a faculty for acute self-analysis. So with this we have reached the end of today's discussion. Tell us in comments which other writers you would like us to cover.